Hello all, welcome to Civil CSA PhD training. In this recording, I would like to explain you all about the revenue account determination interview question. How we need to explain during our interview processes. So the, the interview question would be like, what is revenue account determination or have you worked on revenue account determination? Or can you please explain about the SDNFI integration part? Then how we need to explain? Let us see. The revenue account determination is done based on VKYA setting, that is VKYA transaction code, application B, account condition type KOFI or KOFK for controlling, chart of accounts, account assignment group of customer master data, account assignment group of material master data, and the account key. Here, I have mentioned everything like the standard ones, application B, account condition type as KOFI, chart of accounts, INT, and then account assignment group of customer master data and material master data followed by the account keys. ERL always stands for the sales revenues, ERS sales deductions, ERF pride revenues, MWS tax revenues and ERB rebates. So this is for our information purpose so that we will be able to remember them and then accordingly, even if they ask about the question on how the revenue account is determined for the sales deductions or pride revenues or tax revenues. So you can explain easily. That is what I mentioned over here. So this is always the SD and FI integration, but how we will define them in the system that we will come to know. When we save the billing document, the values of sales revenues, sales deductions, tax revenues, freight revenues are posted to the respective GL accounts. When the revenue account determination settings are in place, the GL accounts and account keys are normally created by FICO teams. So this is only possible because in the pricing procedure, RB001, the standard one, every condition type which is defined and then placed in the pricing procedure is assigned to one account key. And each account key in turn is assigned to one GL account. So where the SD and FI integration starts. This is where the SD and FI integration starts. We all know what are all the pricing elements which are available in the pricing procedure like uh, uh, pricing uh, elements like PR00, prices, KF00, frights, discount condition types like K004, K005 and K007 with the account key ERS, MWSC taxes. So these are all will be determined how. When we save the billing document, the system finds respective GL account through the account key associated with pricing condition type and it automatically converts billing document into open status. Once the account determination is done, then the system automatically converts the billing document from open status to completed status. This is what these two points we need to explain during the revenue account determination transactions or during this interview, whenever we face this interview question on revenue account determination. Also, the entire billing document will be generated from SD perspective, that is F2 billing document type standard. And the same document, which is like a similar document, that is RB billing document transfer will be generated from FI side that will be transferred to financial accounting. So this is what we need to explain during our interview process. What are all the FICO settings? What are all the SD settings? The FICO settings are like the FICO teams, they will define fiscal year variant and then assign the fiscal year variant to the company code, respective company codes, define and assign chart of accounts to the company code. And then they will also define the RB document type, like our F2 billing document type, which we define in VOFA transaction from SD perspective. The SD settings are like, we need to maintain the value for account assembly group of the customer master data in the, in the customer master data or in business partner, right? Now, right? Nowadays, we have to maintain the value in the business partner. In material master data also, we need to maintain the value for account assembly group in the sales organization data to view. We all know that the revenue account determination also works based on the condition technique concept, like the we have to define the condition tables, we have to define the condition types, we have to define the access sequences, and we have to define the revenue account determination procedure, and then we have to place the revenue condition types into the revenue account determination procedure. So this is what the condition technique concept is all about. So this, this point, these points we need to explain to the interviewer during our interview process. Here, I have incorporated these two screenshots one is from ECC, how we configure the revenue account determination steps, how it looks like in the right, right hand side. 
revenue account determination IMG settings. Directly, we can go to the uh, basic function, sales and distribution basic function directly. And the same revenue account determination where we will find all the thing in a single screen. Whereas in S4 HANA system, the left hand side where we I'm, I'm just pointing out here, the same like sales and distribution basic functions, account assignment and casting, there we will see the um, dependence of revenue account determination, display condition tables, create condition tables, change condition tables, followed by the access sequence and then con account determination procedures. Also the account keys. Not only these account keys are defined by the FSEO teams and then they will provide it to us and then we need to assign these account keys to all our pricing condition types which we maintain in the pricing procedure. So this is all about uh, the revenue account determination instead of integration part and then during the interview how we need to explain. So thank you all. Have a nice day for any S4 HANA training, SD sales and distribution training and placement assistance. Please reach out to 8123320787. Thank you. Thank you all. Have a nice day.